Today we're gonna talk about a bunch of new Blender add-ons and updates. This includes add-ons for creating environments, materials, sci-fi elements and much more. Recently Scatter 5 for Blender was released and it brought with it a lot of new features. If you have ever used Blender to create natural scenes, you probably have heard of it already because it is really good. Now scattering assets is easier than ever and you can select any object, choose the distribution presets you like and click scatter. This operation can also work seamlessly with the new asset browser. Other features include flow map support, manual placement tools to scatter your assets manually, also multiple scatter users per texture at the same time using ID maps. In addition, interactive instances of your system can be manipulated to give the effect of objects colliding with each other. There is also the new precise rotation, scale and alignment, and you can easily create billboards effects. On top of that, the add-on has seen a lot of performance optimizations recently. We also have Real-Time Materials 2.0, which is a Blender add-on that was created by Ducky 3 d It offers more than 200 editable materials. The good thing is that these materials are compatible with both Cycles and Eevee. And the add-on offers a lot of material categories such as Metallic, Organic, Practical, Glass, Imperfections, Paint and more. Real-Time Materials also offers the ability to edit the material settings. For instance, you can control the color, roughness and the pattern of any material. Also, the new update of ProLens add-on is bringing with it new design and UI overhaul. The new version added a lot of long-needed functionalities and buttons, and it now shows up in the camera settings section to add a ProLens camera to your scene. Building nodes is also a new powerful Blender add-on. What I like about it is that it allows you to procedurally generate buildings in three easy steps, leveraging the geometry node workflow. This add-on can save you a lot of time if you want to create a cityscape scene or something like that that you want to put in the background of your shots. The add-on also comes with 5 unique building styles which can give you more options when creating these types of things. If you want to easily create sci-fi environments in Blender, you definitely want to take a look at Chip Walter's latest add-on called Simple Sci-Fi. This add-on allows you to create full 32-bit displacement maps and instance geometry. You can use it to create a variety of models and environments and the generated displacement images can allow you to reach thousands of iterations from spaceship details, sci-fi cities and other objects. The good thing is, this add-on can create a 32-bit 8K resolution displacement maps and color maps for both lights and geometry. By the way, the add-on has two versions, a free version and a pro version. The free version will include three different D-packs, one for shapes, one for geometry, and one for creating lighting maps. And if you want to know more about it, you can check our most recent video about it. We also have Bonero 1.1. It is kind of hard to describe this add-on in just one sentence, because it is a collection of tools that will help you in the rigging process, and the add-on is like a Swiss knife with so many functionalities and options that will make your life easier when dealing with bones in Blender. Generally speaking, it automates a lot of tedious processes while introducing a lot of new functionalities such as setting up an armature for your character with a few simple clicks. You can also fully automate the ID setup process, parenting scene elements to bones, and you can also parent vertices, faces, or the control point of spline curves to bones, or even add bones to existing bones and much more. We also have an add-on that is called Grab It, which does exactly what it says it does. It helps to create animations where you grab stuff and drop them, and you can attach objects to other objects or characters, and you can do that seamlessly before and after an animation. All you need to do is to pick a moment on your timeline where you want an object or bone to grab another, and click Grab. After that, select the object you would like to grab and press Parent. Conversely, if you want to drop grabbed objects, pick a moment on your timeline you want to drop the objects and just press drop. We also have Bone Dynamics add-on, which is a Blender add-on that allows you to add physics to bones. And you can tweak multiple bones physics parameters on the fly. For instance, you can adjust things like mass, friction, damping, strength, speed and much more. It is very easy to set up actually. 
You just need to select bones you want to add physics to and click bone dynamic option. You can stretch bones, link multiple bones together like a chain or bake the animation. If you want to try the add-on for yourself, there is a free version on Gumroad, but of course it has limited features. Next we have synchronized workspaces. This is a simple add-on that I never thought I would need, because it is not very obvious that a simple function like this can make your life so much easier. Imagine now how much time you waste restoring viewport positions every time when you switch to a different workspace. Synchronized workspaces is simple yet extremely useful add-on because it keeps your viewport camera position the same across all workspaces. You can also create highly detailed services in Blender using the service detail add-on. Through multiple presets, it is able to generate service details quickly. The details can be adjusted further through the add-ons window. You can even load your custom displacement maps and it can be used to generate surfaces like mountains, grounds, organic stuff and much more. The add-on also offers more than 40 high detailed presets. However, the add-on requires a good machine because the displacement uses geometry to protrude surfaces. So multi-res modifier with a 10 subdivision resolution is recommended. We also have an add-on that is called Haggis Tools, which is an all-in-one Blender add-on that offers so many functionalities to speed up your work and optimize the workflow. I think it can help reduce repetitive and tedious tasks while saving you a lot of time in the process, of course. The add-on offers a lot of features such as store and recall selected objects location, rotation, and scale. And you could move selected objects to a new collection, add empties to selected objects, and much more. If you have multiple objects you want to fit in a box or container, you will probably duplicate them next to each other and hope it wouldn't be obvious that they are intersecting with each other. Now you don't have to worry about this anymore because with the physics dropper add-on, you can do that very fast and only with a couple of clicks. Its main function is to run a physics simulation on the selected objects and once you are happy with the result, you can apply it. You can further adjust the settings of the objects by adjusting the friction and bounciness of the passive and active objects, like within the add-ons window. This is a really useful add-on if you want to realistically organize stuff or make a mess that looks believable. If you are interested in these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share with us your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.